Hello, everybody. I am Q the Dragon, and I am here to try and teach you a lesson on how I taught myself how to draw art. More of dragons, actually. So, so assuming that you have all of your layouts, pins, favorite pins, your layers figured out, how to you access your layers, what they are, I am going to skip all the essential basic, uh, basic B-I-T-C-H, uh, stuff, so, moving forward, how I usually go about starting the dragon is I usually like to start with the face, using a type of scribble that kind of forms a cloud, and I call this the cloud, uh, well, it's more of the circle technique, however, but when you, okay, so basically if you can't draw a perfect circle, I feel like that's a SpongeBob reference. So basically you imagine the perfect circle within this cloud of chicken scratch, right? And now you imagining it. Now, if you can't, if you're one of those people that can't imagine things inside your head, this is not going to be well for you. So, if you're one of those people, just quit now because I can't help you. However, so you're one of those people you can imagine the perfect circle in there, right? Imagine it. Use the cloud to make that perfect circle. Now, beauty of layers is that you can decrease the opacity of said layers to get your perfect circle going. Look at that perfect circle. Oh my gosh. Perfect circle. Perfect. Perfect circle. Boom. So, practice your circles. If your circles are looking like this, you stop, stop here and just practice scribbling a perfect circle. Now, it doesn't have to be a freaking Spongebob tier circle where it's just like, bam, one line, perfect circle. No, if you can see the circle, the outline, you can imagine it in your head and see it on the canvas. You can see it on the canvas in your imagination. Imagination. Use the chicken scratch as a cloud. You know how when you go outside and you watch the clouds and then all of a sudden you see a picture in the clouds? I need you to do that. That is my technique here is ice. I, I want to draw a circle, right? So I make a cloud of scribbles and then I can see my circle within that cloud of circles. And then what I can do is I can make the darkness go away just a little bit, put another layer down, and kind of trace over what I'm seeing in the cloud. And I can kind of, I'm kind of doing a one-handed, so my arthritis is always kicking in. Plus that recording doesn't help. However, you can see the point. The point still remains. Look how freaking perfect that little part was. I wasn't holding my mic with my other hand and freaking being nervous about just talking in general. I probably would have got it. Anyways, you can see the point there. So, lesson one. Practice making circles. It's as basic as that. If you can't do the most basic stuff first, then you're not going to... Um, well... It is not going to help later on. So, that is the lesson one of how I taught myself how to draw. So, practice makes perfect practice. 
making your perfect circles using these little scroll clouds. Now you you, you can kind of you can kind of see that they're all kicking in. Now, like, ignore the chicken scratch. If you can't ignore it, you gotta learn how to ignore the chicken scratch and see the perfect circle within the cloud of scribbles. So, see you in the next one.